YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty Assaultist, with another video. And today, we're... I know, I know some of you probably have seen, like, those, those, those atheist themes, like, uh, faith is, is just the word for delusion, another word for delusional thinking, when really, if you, it depends upon, when really it depends upon, uh, on what you're hang, hanging, hanging your body on. Which is just another way of saying faith. The faith is is the hanging the body, you're hanging your body on on a staff, or the or or the holding on to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. It's fun. Who you who you talk to, you. and not letting go. You know, you always hear people talk about me about, about oh it's just it's delusional that faith is delusional I mean that's like saying trust the science is delusional and it, it can be delusional I'm not saying that it is I like, I like the atheists who like to say that faith is um delusional and we're not even talking about religion here. We're not even talking about religion here. So before you think I'm talking about religion, we're talking about word. We are talking about a word. We'll look at the massive cricket grasshopper. But we're, we're back to what I was talking about. We're talking about faith. How many people know the word pistis? How many people know what 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 where that's from? Pistis is from the Greek is from the Greek language. It is their word for faith. Look it up. And look it up. What is the meaning? What is an explanation or a definition of faith? Or faith? Either a definition or an explanation. Or both. Faith as it is defined is action based upon belief that is sustained by confidence. So the action of faith, so faith is action based upon upon belief that is that is a tested time and time hello that is tested time and time again, or it could be untested. Or it could be untested. So, what you have here is what you have here is you have here is something that that could either be. A belief that it could either have been proven to be proven to be fact, or belief that is a matter of, or that is that it hasn't gone from opinion presumption or assumption to something that is. Provable. It can. It can be. It can be either one of those.
And so, it's this really, you know, I'm going to tell you this a story about, about, about my journey in faith. It's my journey in faith. My journey in faith is something. Why? Why did I take such a vested interest in Christianity in my early twenties? Maybe it was because of a lot of doubt that was present in me. And that doubt, and that doubt was very strong. That doubt affected the way I thought and the way um, I acted. And so, this was one of the things that I had to learn to o- learn to overcome. And to dispel. And so, and so, it was. So, so most likely was self-doubt that was essentially um, there was a self-doubt there was a doubt of of what was going on in the world and it was the the fact that I didn't question things that was the reason why faith why I lacked faith it was that I was never, I was never taught, I was never exposed to different ways of thinking. I was never exposed to being around people who thought differently from I did. I was raised in that Judeo-Christian framework, which is not a bad framework when understood. But it just, but it just left a lot. This left me ignorant. And what happens when a person's ignorant? They doubt. And so they go searching elsewhere until they come across things that certain evidences or certain conclusions that lead them down the path of faith. And it can be faith, it can be faith in the divine, it can be faith that all that there is is the material world. And that there is no such thing as this Atma. This hear about. You know, that is metaphysical. And that is nihilism. And it does the path of nihilism. The path of, that is the path of optistus. Faith in reverse. It is the direction in which, according to some, According to various reasons, depending upon the system, but generally, depending upon the system, different, but generally, they're going in the op- that's the fee, that's the path of unrighteousness, where there is nothing beautiful, where there's nothing good, nothing beautiful. And nothing righteous. Where 
all that there is is materiality. Really, when you think about it, when you really think about it, actually think about it, actually think about it. What am I talking about? People call it the divine. People call it the divine. Others call it the J.R.R. Tolkien, the writer of Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Lord of the Rings as well as the Hobbit. Talks about nihilism. Talks about the path toward nihilism. This path toward destructive, towards towards destructive tendencies. And and how people tend to fall into these destructive tendencies. How people and how people tend to tend to take the black pill. And you notice how when people take the black pill, they say things like Saruman was saying to Gandalf, we must join him, Gandalf. We must join Sauron. And you notice how people like that think of wisdom, think think that that's wisdom that's coming out of their mouths. They've, They've taken the black pill so hard that they, they've taken the black pill so hard they've taken the black pill so hard and for so long that 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 they've become poisonous that they see no beauty no good no righteousness, no moral law. They've tasted despair. And notice, notice in Lord of the, Lord, Lord of the Rings how, how, how despair is a theme of, of those movies. Of those books and the movies, and to lesser extent, probably the movies. Notice how 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 Samwise Gimji says that there are things worth fighting for. That there is still good in the world. That there is still wisdom in this world. There's still beauty in this world and that and that faith you have to have faith that there is good in this world that there is a higher that there is something that calls us to a higher purpose I mean that's that's the idea that Gandalf was trying to get to Frodo the idea that the that Gandalf was trying to impart to Frodo was that is that we walk paths. We don't always know the paths of the walk. And it's a lot of this and you notice how that how faith which is never talked about a name 
But faith is a big theme of Lord of the Rings. It's a very big part of it. Because that's... That, because that is how faith is actually based upon belief that is sustained by confidence. The path toward to great, greater realization of the world around you is based upon upon, upon faith in, in goodness, beauty, and righteousness. And that we must reject the black pill. We must reject nihilism. Because nihilism is the poison. It isn't just, it isn't, it isn't simply atheism. It's much more than that. And then, and then you find evidences that speak contrary to positions that other people might hold. And that's okay. That's okay to be an atheist. Because as long as you did, as long as you looked for yourself and didn't just accept what you saw on the internet without question. I mean, the same thing with, with uh, religion. The same thing with politics. As long as you, as long as you arrived at that position, that's okay. And you did as thorough of a job looking into a matter. That's good. It's as good as it's going to be. Until the next time you come around in this world. Until the next time you come around in this world. Maybe we might come across, or maybe there might be all that there is, is the material world. And you were right all along. For we have to we have to look for ourselves to find out how the world is. We need to think for ourselves in relation to the world of what we think the world is. We wish to understand the world. And we need to not fall in denialism into this self-doubt, into this doubt. The best way to, to, to dispel doubt is to dispel ignorance. You need to get out of, out there. You, you, you need to get out of it, out, out there, into the world, and find out who and what you are. And you need to look inward. You need to look inward. Especially look inward. To find out who and what you are. And find a good teacher who can teach you the ins and outs of everything. You know, because there can only be one person who has learned to grow in faith. And no one's going to do it for you. You are going to have to do that. You are going to have to ask the question. If it wasn't for the fact that I started to question a lot of the things that I, it wasn't for the fact that I started to question 
the faith that I held. I wouldn't have learned as much as I did. Because what that did was it pushed me to look for myself. To not just simply accept what I was told as the truth. And only you can ask the tough questions. Or, because most people, if not any that might be around you, may not ask those questions. Those questions that they're so afraid to question their doctrines, they're afraid to question the, their ideology. They're afraid to go further than the superficial when it comes to these things. That they don't really understand the deeper messages of things. And in order to build in order in order to build your house upon a rock, which is to say to build your house upon facts, logic, and wisdom as opposed to building your house upon sand, i.e. building upon, building it upon belief, just simply unproven beliefs, opinions, uh, conjecture, as, as presumption, and assumption. You have to learn to build upon, upon faith. You have to learn how to build your, build your faith upon fact. And we don't always know all the answers. We don't always have all the answers. Take care.